Ad man from Bangladesh. Sheikh, my question is, if a Muslim ruler gives license or legitimacy of haram work in the country, gives legitimacy to the import and export of haram goods, will the ruler become kafir? Some brothers in my country say that as the ruler have given the permissibility of a haram thing, he becomes kafir. Okay. I will answer, inshallah. Adman says, if a ruler permits and legislates importing haram or consumption of haram, does he become a kafir? The answer is no. And sad man, be careful because it seems that this is a tendency. Not only for you, but also for the people in Bangladesh to want to give takfir. And this is a, characteristics of, a characteristic of the khawarij. Be careful of that. Takfir is not done by layman. It's not done by someone who doesn't even know how to read the Quran or that did not ever read the, 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 the books of Hadith or went through the books of Aqidah. Just because you heard someone speak about takfir or about ruling with other than what Allah has legislated, khalas, you took this and considered it the most authentic and the undisputed and the only thing in Islam that we should uh, um, call for. So you go around and look for anyone who does not rule with what Allah has legislated and label him as kafir and what comes after that. This is a very dangerous thing. This is not for you. This is for scholars, real scholars with knowledge, with fear of Allah Azza wa with knowledge of the consequences of the actions and be careful from falling into that trap.